Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says find f of x. And we're given that f of x plus 2 plus f of x squared is equal to x squared plus x plus 14. And we're given a hint that f of x is linear. This is day 28 of our Algebra March calendar. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. So first I want to start with the hint. Since f of x is linear, it can be expressed as f of x equals mx plus b. And we got to figure out the values for m and b. Using this, we can express f of x plus 2 by plugging this x plus 2 into the x. It'll give us m x plus 2 plus b. And we can do the same thing for the f of x squared. In the place of this x, we can plug in x squared. And that'll give us m x squared plus b. And now the original question gave us f of x plus 2 plus f of x squared, so let's add these two rows together. It'll give us f of x plus 2 plus f of x squared, which is what we have up here, is equal to all of this. And we can do some work on this. This m can distribute to both of these terms. m times x is mx, and m times 2 is 2m. And then next we can combine this b plus this b to give us 2b, and let's copy down the mx squared. And then we can rearrange these in descending order. We have the x squared term, the x term, and the constants. So now we know f of x plus 2 plus f of x squared is equal to all this. But we also know that f of x plus 2 plus f of x squared is equal to this. So let's copy this down here. And now since both of these are equal to the same thing, they'll be equal to each other. Let's move this over and the x squared and the x both have implied coefficients of 1. Now the only way that these two things can always be equal to each other is if the coefficients for the x squareds are always equal to each other. And the same thing for the coefficient for the x's. These will have to be the same. So in both of these cases, m is equal to 1. And then using the same logic, we would need these two constants to always be equal. And so we know 2m plus 2b is equal to 14. Since we know that m is equal to 1, in the place of this m, we can substitute 1. From here, we can subtract 2 from both sides, and we end up with 2b is equal to 12. And after we divide both sides by 2, we end up with b is equal to 6. And now we know the values for m and b. Let's plug them in. f of x is equal to 1x plus 6. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's the question for tomorrow. We're given an irregular quadrilateral with two right angles. Three of the sides are known but the fourth side is unknown. What is the length of the fourth side? This looks like a fun one. How exciting. <laughs> How exciting.